Today we're going to learn how to use Google Chrome without leaving your hands from your keyboard. That means we're going to use the keyboard for navigation, opening new tabs and finding a link and clicking on a link and stuff like that. So there is a plugin for that and if you're coming from Firefox, there was, we used to be able to do uh, forward slash or backslash, it's been a while since the last time I used it. But with those keys, you can quickly uh, go to a link on a page and then by pressing enter, you uh, were able to go to that link. And unfortunately, Google Chrome doesn't, that, doesn't have that feature natively, but there is a plugin called, um, let me actually go to this. Uh, Vimium, I think it's how, how you pronounce it. It basically allows you to use Vim commands um, to navigate around the Google Chrome browser. Unfortunately, there are a couple places where this, brow uh, this plugin is not enabled automatically, but that's okay. Most of the time you will be using this uh, without any problem. So, if you go to this link, or if you search for this uh, Vimium, I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, on Google Chrome uh, store, web store, then you'll be find it. And it has four thousand, more than 4,000 uh, ratings, and they're all positive, as you see, it's a very good rating out of, uh, out of five, it is 4.8. Anyway, so you got what I'm saying, and let's go back and then start using it. If you don't see this, icon with the colors that means it's not enabled so if you go to at first it's not going to be enabled so you have to go somewhere let's say i want to go to yahoo.com and see it is now blue that means it's enabled at this at this point you can use if you do uh shift question uh, shift question mark basically if you click question mark or press question mark it will show you all the navigational and um, other type of shortcuts that you can use on a on a web page, and there's so many of them. I want, I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that I really like, and you can um, explore the rest yourself. The first one is I don't like using my mouse when I want to click on a link. Uh, it's just so cumbersome to me. I mean, if you do this all, all the time, so if you press F, that means find. And it will automatically assign a letter or sequence of letters to all the links available on that page. So, for instance, I want to go to politics and I say H. If I type in H, that will take me to the politics. So, if you want to do, for instance, if you want to open that link in a new tab, you have two options. You can either do Shift F. I'm sorry, if, of course, you have to tap out of that search thing first. If you do Shift F, and then let's say I want to go to Yahoo Originals, and then J, see it actually opened that in a new tab. So how can I go to new tab? Uh, again, these are all Vim shortcuts. So if you have used the Vim editor in your life, these shortcuts will be really uh, familiar to you. So say G and T. And that take me takes me to the next um, tab. <clears throat> if you want to go to previous tab, G and then sorry again, uh, G and uh, uppercase T. So go go tab or go to tab. If you want to like encode that in your mind, this is how you can do it. And um, it is not just for the links. It is basically anything that you can click. Uh, for anything that you can click. If I say F again, see the if I if I want to type in something into the search bar on the Yahoo page, if I say F again, that takes me to that search. And then I can just type in something and then I can tap out. Let's say you want to click on if you want to if you want to click search button, again you say F and then I type in AF. That basically initiates search. Okay, so it is done. No, there are other things. For instance, if you want to see all of your open tabs, uh, if you press Shift and T, and now you can see all of the open tabs you can navigate uh, from this bar. So if, if, if I want to go to next tab, or if I want to, I, I can also search for the tabs. If I have so many, if I have so many tabs open, and then press Enter, and it'll take me to that tab, which I am already on there. Let's go to the second tab. You can either use Tap Tap or to uh, you know navigate among the uh, open tabs on that 
dialog or you can simply say originals and then we'll take you to that tab um, and there are other search options as well if you want to search just a regular text then if you again I mean on Vim by simply saying um, forward slash uh, sorry you see that at the bottom of here at the bottom here it now uh, accepts search keywords so if you want to say Bernie see it highlights it for me automatically and if there are more uh, matches which let's say um, <clears throat> uh, I don't know era there are two matches one is this which uh, if, I, if you press enter it'll take you that that thing highlight the whole thing whatever if it's a link but if you use and <clears throat> excuse me if you use n uh, which is again from vim it will take you to the next match and if you want to go back to other previous match you can use shift n right so n n or shift n will take you back to the previous match so there are other um, things here as well for instance if you want to open a bookmark you can use B if you want to open a URL or a bookmark or a history entry in a new tab you can use shift O which means capital O and which I and then you can use control T search through your open tabs which I already showed you and um, you can if you want to like open a new tab all you have to just press T that'll take you uh, that'll open a new tab and of course one of the things I really like about the Vim is that you don't have to use the arrow keys to go go you know scroll down or scroll up it's you don't have to actually leave your hands from the home row on your keyboard so J for instance will take you down or scroll scroll down the page or you can do K to scroll up or you can if you if you if, if it's a page is too big so you have to scroll to the right side or left side again you have you can use H to the left and L to the right as you see and if you wanna like uh, skip some of skip uh, or scroll down uh, to the half of the page you can just say D and that scrolls down with a bitter uh, bigger increments or you can use U to go up again it's like a page down on page up so J is more granular D is a, a bigger step okay so what else what, what else I want to show you um, again there's so many things you can use from here you can use X to close current tab or you can use control sorry a shift X which is capital X to restore close tab um, in Vim there's usually an, uh, a different or how can I say like a reverse action uh, when you use uh, the shift uh, key with a particular key uh, shortcut for instance if you do uh, N which means go to next match if you do shift N that means go to, go to previous match if you do um, like GG it'll take you to the top of the page if I said GG it'll take me to the very top of the page if you do control G it will take you to the bottom of the page which in, in this case I think it's all the loads all the things so it may be a little hard uh, for for this page to go down but anyway so if you do if you do again GG they're all coming from Vim well, it, it took me to the the, uh, the top of the page let's see what we what else we have in here uh, again I mean you can use G0 and go to the first tab again uh, the zero and the dollar sign they're all coming from the whim and uh, if you do on, on a whim on a line if you do zero it will take you to the uh, beginning of a line on a, on a text if you do dollar sign it'll take you to the, the end of the line again the same convention applies here so if I want to if I do control uh, zero it'll, it took me to the first tab if I do if I if I have more tabs let's say um, um, let's do Tark uh, my website and um, 
Now if I do g dollar sign, uh, now it, it took me to the last tab. G zero took me to the first tab. G T took me to the middle tab. Um, of course, if you do the GT, it actually takes you to the next tab. All right, this is how I use this.